It's become a quiet time for two adventurous people here at New Mexico State University. With COVID-19 having the world on a pause, these two have lost some meaningful experiences this year. Having graduation coming in May and festival experiences in April, Emily Schaefer and Sam D'Amico share their story of how the coronavirus affected their life. Um, I've been trying to do, you know, my best, the best I can, but emotions are all over the place throughout the day. You know, I'm, I start thinking about how sad this whole thing is and how crazy it is, and then I start, you know, making pasta, and then I'm happy, and then, you know, I don't know, I get bored. Throughout the day, there's just so many emotions, so it's been quite a roller coaster. Schaefer and her roommates try to do the most they can to keep themselves entertained. Uh, well, me and my roommates have been um, doing a lot. We have a, our video games, we have movies all day. We've been making a lot of like brownies, cookies. We've been, you know, drinking a lot. Can I say that? Okay. We've been drinking a lot <laughs> every day almost. Um, I mean, what else to do? Um, we go outside, we play volleyball, paint. <laughs> we try to do things that are new. Um, but we get pretty bored, I think. We, we're, we're trying. Not too. Get him out from under my feet. You were such fucking bits, Come on, play the game. Emily Schaefer is an NMSU senior, majoring in French. This May, Schaefer was supposed to walk across the stage alongside many other graduates, but because of COVID-19, the graduation ceremony has been moved to online. That was something I was looking forward to a lot because graduation day is huge. Like everybody's there, everybody's there to celebrate you. That feeling of proud, I mean, proudness. Um, People compare their graduation day to their wedding day is what I've heard, you know. Um, now I don't have that. Um, there's nothing to like replace that feeling, I think. I mean, I will have the degree after all, but, and I will be proud of myself, but I really wanted that feeling of walking across the stage. Sam D'Amico has had her life flipped around from being actively social in her everyday life to having no one. For Emily to hang out with, she says quarantine has taken what she stands for in a different direction. Being quarantined has been a strange thing to get used to for me just because it's completely against what my college experience has been for the past three years. D'Amico is currently a junior majoring in f digital filmmaking. Her class experience has changed drastically as it's no longer physical but strictly online learning. <laughs> I'm anxious, I'm waiting for my life to get back to normal, but uh, at the same time, I've been trying to stay as positive as possible. Who'd you see it with? Blake. <laughs> he locked the door at me. I was like, Blake, why do they have cell phones? <laughs> You're like, I'm so confused. There's like a couple other things that like people forgot, like Coca Cola and stuff. Having all the curriculum having to be shifted to online has been a really big adjustment for not just me, but for everyone in my classes and in my major. Um, a lot of the projects and things that I was planning on doing or was halfway done with getting ready for are just canceled altogether, including this big, big documentary production that I was doing and I was going to get a producer credit on just completely got canceled after putting almost three months of work into it. So, um, everyone in the department, the, everyone in the department has been very helpful and doing their best to like adjust us to going online because a lot of us aren't used to it. But um, it definitely has been a learning curve for me. Oh, okay. <clears throat> um, so do you want to come with me to yeah. take the pictures? Are you going to get ready and like do a photo shoot? Or? I don't know. She wants me to, but... That'd be kind of fun. My best advice would just be to be creative with your surroundings. Um, I think for a lot of us, we get used to having the equipment at our disposal um, and all those kinds of things. So. I mean, this is a really good opportunity to be creative, um, work with what you have in your environment, and um, come up with some cool ideas while you do have all the free time. With the world being on a pause, Emily Schaefer and Sam D'Amico will do their best to try and stay positive and keep themselves entertained while they wait for the world and their lives to start up again.